Hey everybody, welcome back to Sky Lounge. This is Piggy Skin Picks, where I pick the winners and losers of the upcoming NFL weekend. Week number 12 of the NFL. Crazy thing is, other than two teams, every team is playing this week. Uh, other than the LA Rams and the Kansas City Chiefs, who had a phenomenal game, uh, 107 on the over. Which is ridiculous, by the way. Uh, but uh, let's continue by talking about the upcoming games. Now, the Chicago Bears take on the Detroit Lions, and I will take Chicago. Bears beats lying lions. Bam! That's alliteration, kids. Boom. Another Thursday night football game, and I realize the succession in um, which these games will occur on Thanksgiving Day, fantastic, and I love the fact that this is going to be a division game, Washington versus Dallas. I'm taking Dallas. Um, hey, uh, Alex Smith is uh, Alex Smith's injury is terrible, speedy recovery for the guy. I know I berate him all the time, but man, I, you don't want to see that in any other athlete. That's terrible to see, and... Um, I just think Dallas just has the better weapons uh, between their stellar defense and more than capable offense. I think this is going to be a very, very easy test for Dallas, and they should come out with flying colors. They are at a home. Remember that, boys and girls. Now, another Thursday night game. I really would love to watch this game, by the way. The Atlanta Falcons versus the New Orleans Saints. New Orleans Saints are going to cream pie the Atlanta Falcons. You heard me right, boys and girls. The New Orleans Falcons, no, New Orleans Falcons, Jesus Christ. The New Orleans Saints will fuck the shit out of the Atlanta Falcons because of Jesus Christ. Simple. Alvin Kamara, you know, Melvin Ingram. Now you got Brandon Marshall on there who actually can potentially do something once in a while. And... You know, situationally, that defense has been stellar, i.e. 48-7 to win against the defending Super Bowl champions just last Sunday. So I have a huge load of confidence in Drew Brees, and the Falcons just look terrible. And, hey, it is what it is. Now, Sunday night. Actually, Sunday morning football. We got the Seattle Seahawks. The Seattle Seahawks versus... The Carolina Panthers. I'm going to go ahead and take the Seattle Seahawks. Yes. Please, rushing game. Please, Russell Wilson. Pull off the miracle. I could definitely see it happening, too. I think Carolina's confidence is getting a little shaky. And I think this is an opportune time for Russell Wilson, Pete Carroll, you know, Schottenheimer, Norton Jr., all the cats in the in the coaching staff, and obviously Russell Wilson, go in there, pounce some ass, and make Cam look like a baby back bitch. That's right. I'm an asshole. All righty. The Oakland Raiders versus the Baltimore Raider, uh, Ravens. <laughs> uh, just the... Oakland is the king of the toilet bowl, so I, I Baltimore, come on, easy, next. Uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Buffalo Bills. I am going to pull off an upset here and going to say Buffalo Bills win this game. I think Jacksonville is on a complete downward spiral. They were up, what, 14 or double-digit points against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Could not play a quarter of defense, and it, they lost completely. And it, it's, it's hilarious how bad Jacksonville is right now. And there's a puppy outside. And so let's move on to the next game. Because, again, again Buffalo, as bad as they are d defensively, they, they can come up big sometimes. But let's move on to the next game. No one gives a fuck about that. But who will give a fuck about this game? Me. The Cleveland Browns versus the Cincinnati Bengals. The Cleveland Browns, because Baker Wonderland, baby, it is going to happen. Baker Mayfield is going to get the job done tonight. Well, Sunday night, you know what I mean. All right. The New England Patriots versus the New York Jets. New England Patriots. I mean, 
Tom, Tom needs its cum rake. Okay, that's a sex doll right there, the New York Jets. He's just gonna fuck that shit real hard. And so, I think that's gonna be a very close win for the New England Patriots, so we're gonna have to see how that turns out as well. <clears throat> the New York Giants versus the Philadelphia Eagles, a divisional rival game again. So this is gonna be another exciting game. I think the Philadelphia Eagles are gonna win this game outright. The wake up game that Philly needs. This was a 48 to seven loss last week, was an absolute disaster. And Wentz, the coaching staff, everybody has to be looking at themselves like this can never happen again. And so we're gonna see how they handle it, but I definitely think Philadelphia has the totals to get the job done. I know Eli has been throwing pretty steadily well, but I think the new, you know, the real Giants are going to show up. And I know, I'm a real pessimist here. But, hey, let's keep it going. San Francisco 49ers versus Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm going to go ahead and select the San Francisco 49ers, mainly because the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, for the simple reason, have selected Jameis Winston. That's all the reason I need to select against Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, the Arizona Cardinals versus the Los Angeles Chargers. I will select the Los Angeles Chargers, mainly because the Arizona Cardinals are another toilet bowl contender. They are objectively, uh, objectively an awful team, whereas the Chargers, as stupid and poo-brained as Phillip Rivers can become, this team is star-studded. Melvin Gordon is an absolute stud. You got Joey Bosa back in the lineup. It's going to be a phenomenal game from those guys. I cannot wait to get a couple of clips and views of that game. Now, the Miami Dolphins versus the Indianapolis Colts. I think Indianapolis Colts are going to take this. General Luck marches on and stampedes all over Miami's free, false pretense of winning games. I think Miami is a fucking false team uh, and false pretenses of uh, contention. You know, I, I think they're just full of shit. And so Indiana, not Indianapolis, it's got to stomp all over that shit. Pound that booty real quick. Now, the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Denver Broncos. This was a complete toss-up in my opinion. I think, depending on the day, I would say the Pittsburgh Steelers will win this game. Um, you know, something about their arrogant you know, swag that they got back. I think it'll, you know, work in their favor in terms of victories, but I think long-term in terms of playoffs, it's going to, this situation will implode eventually. And now let's move on to the Green Bay Packers versus the Minnesota Vikings on Sunday Night Football, NBC. And dare I say it, boys and girls, I think the Green Bay Packers are going to win this game. Uh, Kirk Cousins will choke on imaginary cock unfortunately and i just don't see it happening for the vikings i just don't and now monday night football on espn tennessee titans versus houston texans i will go ahead and say the houston texans will beat the tennessee titans you know deshaun is crowning through puberty i think this will be the game where tennessee Flops on their face a little bit. But I think this will be a close game. Maybe one or two bad misses by Tennessee will swing this way to, to you know Texas favor. So that's my picks for week number 12 of the NFL week. Let me know what you guys think. Follow me at the Sky Lounge on all the links in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe for more daily content. Now fuck off.